In the first six months of 2020, investors sunk an astonishing $35 billion into upcoming offshore wind projects and other similarly eco-friendly projects. So now wind power has apparently overcame most, but not all of its skeptics. The question becomes, what kind of awesome new tech is all that money being blown on? You're watching iTech, and in this video, we're going deep into the world's biggest wind turbine. Today, the turbine hit another milestone. GE signed the first contract for the most powerful wind turbine, known as Haliad X. Haliad X is the world's most powerful offshore wind turbine in action. The turbine's first prototype set a world record earlier this year. It generated 288 milliwatt hours of electrical energy in a single day. That's enough power for 30,000 houses in Rotterdam. According to their rivals, they're working on better and more powerful wind turbine projects that will overtake Heliad X, but still, that's just their claims. A Danish manufacturer, Vesta, claimed that they're working on manufacturing trials of the 15 megawatt wind turbine, which will be capable of generating 900 megawatts. And according to company's claims, it will boost productivity up to five times and it will require 34 fewer turbines in their wind farm. Siemens Corporation also claimed they're working on Gamisa that is capable of generating a whopping 15 megawatts. And they also announced that their first prototype will be built in the autumn of 2021. So far, none have actually been built. These are just claims to stay in the competition. What are your thoughts about this? Do they have anything or are just trying to stay in the competition? Leave a comment below to let us know. General Electric's all-new Haliad X is an elegant combo of form and function, rising gracefully 216 meters above sea level. Each Haliad X is capable of producing 12 megawatt power with a remarkable industry-leading 63% capacity factor. It's above industry standards. To sum it up, when it will be fully operational, it will generate 67 gigawatts a year. That's 45% more power generation than the most powerful and efficient windmills on the market today. But you're asking, how much maximum potential energy is actually generated over a given amount of time? It's mainly dependent on weather variability. Wind factor obviously isn't ideal. Practically speaking, the energy these mighty wind turbines are producing is impressive. If we put Haliad X in comparison, this single wind turbine mounted on the coastal side can generate enough power to supply 1,600 European houses. In other words, a single turn of Haliad X can produce 13 megawatts. That's two days of power supply for a UK house. Another big benefit to look at wind power is emissions reduction. The clean energy generated is the equivalent of taking 9,000 cars off the road a year, or 42,000 metric tons of carbon emission from the atmosphere. And we're just talking about one turbine. And did we mention that they're big? Haliad X is as tall as an 85-story building, and each of its blades are 107 meters long. To put into perspective, the wingspan of an Airbus A380 is only 80 meters. Those blades move 80 meters per second and cover 38,000 square meters. That's the size of seven American football fields, by the way. This isn't just a clean energy flex. This actually makes sense from an engineering perspective. Bigger in this case is clearly way better. But installing one of these monsters on the coastal side is not child's play. The fewer you need to put there, the better, and cheaper is for everyone. The prototype concept of Haliad X is proof of an inspiring glimpse into the future. Perhaps its early application will be on the $10 billion bank, this wind farm being developed to serve the UK market. Offshore turbines scheduled to deliver their first power to the grid as early as 2023. Once fully operational around 2026, Dogger Banks will supply around 6 million UK homes, equivalent to 5% of the whole country's energy consumption. The essential safety certification was issued in November 2020, which proves that it is reliable for real-world implementation. This is after going from rigorous testing of 12 megawatts from Rotterdam prototype in UK, offshore renewable energy in Blyth, Northumberland, and Massachusetts Wind Technology Testing Center in Boston. For testing each blade from Northumberland to Massachusetts, because of its size as you'd expect, transporting and building is an operation in itself. Offshore wind projects around the world are now lining up for GE's energy giant. Austin has also ordered two of its projects off the east coast of the US. And in China, where wind energy is a bigger deal than in the UK, dedicated GE factories are being built purely to serve the Asian Pacific turbine market. 
Other innovations are also being tested and tried for the first time on the Haliad X. Many of ITS's onboard diagnostic systems now work remotely. It will reduce costly and dangerous seaborne maintenance missions. Orders are flowing in, but the development of these turbines isn't an easy task for GE, which sunk a $400 million investment into the scheme. Green future is here. Haliad X is the future of energy. GE is taking big steps to protect the environment and uniting many big companies to turn to clean energy. What are your thoughts about Haliad X? Will it be the main source of energy in the near future? Comment below, we'll love to know. If you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos.